and I'm quite lucky to be presenting here. So to give an introduction about me, I am Hindika Mitra, a student from India. And um, I'm very lucky to be presenting today because I think one of the main reasons why I'm here is because donor volunteered me and I'm here to volunteer more people like me. So uh, hi everyone and today we'll be speaking on how to build mixed reality power apps. So with power apps and with mixed reality, the kind of person I am, I belong to a very different background that is I am an electronics engineer by book. But I love technology and this is why I have started uh, learning about power apps and I love how I can really see my ideas into products with it. So let's move on with what is mixed reality and what we can do with it in power apps. Mixed reality is nothing but the mixing of two realities or we can say the mixing of the real and the virtual world. So with power apps, we can do or we can perform three main functions that is view in mixed reality, view the shape in mixed reality and then we can also measure in mixed reality. Before we start with it, so why are we reading or why are we seeing this broadcast right now and why mixed reality and why not any other topic? So the pictures that we see right now, it is of a retail shop that has a furniture and the other one is um, a girl trying out new clothes. So with 2020 and pandemic, when things are going bizarre and shopping and does shopping is going to a different edition altogether. So I think we can really use fixed reality and to build stronger and powerful power apps that can help us solve a lot of business problems altogether. So before we move on to mixed reality and see around how we can do things with it, so some of the important steps that we have to follow is, first and foremost, we have to make um, M365 account. And once we have that, we are set to go. Next, we sign in to make.powerapps.com and that's it, we get started building. Now for this particular demo, we will be building from scratch, but as a starter, I will always recommend you to start building apps from template. And to use mixed reality in power apps, we need to toggle on the advanced settings and then we need to switch on the mixed reality settings. And third or the fourth and the last most important part is to store our 3D models. That is whenever we are using mixed reality, we need a 3D model with a .glb extension. And we can store it in a variety of areas, but in my particular demo, we will be storing it in GitHub. And when we are copying the link, we should be careful of not having blob in that link and to change the github.com to law.github.usercontent.com. And once all of this is done, we have a ready-made app right in front of us. So we will be seeing this in details in our demo. Now let's move ahead to see what we are building today. And um, if this excites you, I'm sure you'll be having more and a lot more ideas to build around mixed strategy. So here we have this app and this is the chair of the 3D model of the chair that I'll be placing in my house. And now this is my house floor and I want to be placed here. So this is a 3D model of the chair and now right now it's in my house and I can rotate it. I can take the picture and I can save it in a database. Next, suppose I want to view a shape in MR. This is where I am placing a cube. It takes a while to identify the place, but once it starts, we are good to go and we can see our virtual object in real life. And the most important part is to measure in MR. So if we are thinking of buying a furniture and placing it in a particular cozy corner of our house, but we need the right measurements, this is where it, it proves the most effective. All we need to do is locate the area and along with the plus size, we need to make form a shape of what we want to build or what we want to fit. Right now, I'm just uh, doing something, uh, uh, making a bizarre shape, but once we have it, it's done, we submit and we have all the measurements online. So this is what we will be building and apologies for a very bad designing 
skill because I am really bad at it. But I hope that we together can learn to more with exciting one. Next, let's move to the most exciting part that is how do we build all of it in Power Apps, within Power Apps, and that too without any lines of code. This is what excites me the most. So now, I have, uh, once I have my environment set up, that is, I'm using my student ambassador environment, and I have logged in to make.powerapps.com, and as I mentioned, that from the array of options that we have on the left-hand side, we'll have the create option. And for this particular demo, we will be creating from blank. So we create from blank, we give it a fancy name, for this I give it MR, and we build it in the uh, phone format. And while Power Apps is setting up the, all the things for our app and is importing all the required um, elements for it, it takes a bit of time to set the entire thing up. And when this is done, this is the first screen that we receive. And the second important part is to make sure that we have mixed reality turned on. So we move to advanced settings and we find where mixed reality is. And once that is on, we are good to go. Now, since I'm very bad at designing, I simply choose a theme that is a black and aqua theme that I personally like. And in an app, we have a lot of screens. And in the demo, you have seen that I am viewing the MR, viewing the shape, measuring it in different screens. So we will be duplicating the screens or making different screens for our app to work. And it's very conventional to keep a good name for it so that we can identify the screens and the tasks that we will be doing on that screen. So the first screen is my welcome screen and the other three screens are basically the functions that we will be performing with Nate's reality. First is the view in MR, then we have the view shape in MR and then we have the measuring MR part. So once we have all the screens made up and uh, instead of inserting the screen separately, I just uh, copied it and now I'm just changing the name of it so that it becomes easier for me to understand which screen is supposed to perform which task. And the third and the last screen of my app is to measure in MR. And once this is done, we move back to our welcome screen or the first screen to add all the components that we need to do. So we move to text or we and we need to give it a heading. So I move to level and for this particular app, I want to have it a heading as mixed reality demo. It depends upon you with the uh, with what you want to have as a heading. And once that is done from your right hand side, you can change the font size, the font type, if you want it and make it bold, you can change the alignment, you can change the color and all the modifications that you want to add. Next, we go to insert and then we add buttons to it. So this buttons will basically, it will take me to my three screens that I have. That is the view in MR, view shape in MR and measure in MR screen. Once I have the three buttons in place, I'll just uh, make sure that they are in the same alignment and in the same size. So it's always better to give them a naming convention for us to understand what this particular button is supposed to do. So I'll just name it with my screen uh, names that is basically the mixed reality functions that we have in Power Apps. So the first is to view in MR, we have done that. And the second is view shape in MR, we have also written that. And the third is to measure in MR. Once uh, we have written the text. We need to see if the shape is looking nice. So this is more towards the beautification. And we see that my second button is a bit irregular. So I'll try and make its shape look nicer. And if you want rounded edges around your buttons, so you can go ahead and change the border radius to 20, 30 or anything that you want and you think will look good on your app. So we'll do the same in all the three buttons to make sure that it has its uniformity. And once that is done, our first screen is almost ready. Now, the next step that we need to do is we need to make sure that our buttons, it takes us to the following screens. That is view in MR, it takes me to the view in MR screen. 
So for that, I'll be using the navigate function. Functions work wonders in Power Apps. So these are the major things that uh, which we with which we can play with Power Apps and work wonders with it. So the navigate function will be same in all the three buttons except for the screen names. For example, view in MR button will redirect me to the view in MR uh, screen. The view shape in MR will take me to the view shape in MR screen, and the measure in MR will take but take me to the measure in MR screen. And once all of these is done, the second part of the uh, function that is screen transition dot cover. This is the type of transition that we want to we want our buttons to do with the screen. So that is uh, already populated. We just need to click and select the suitable one. So once this is done, our first screen is almost done. Next, uh, what we do is we want all of the screens. To redirect to the welcome screen with one just click. So I search for the home button and then I will be navigating it to my welcome screen. The home button or maybe the back button so that um, it can perform the same task of taking me to my first screen. And once this is done, the uh, part will be on select. So I want it on selection to take me to my welcome screen. So it will be navigate to welcome screen and the type of transition will be dot cover. So I'll simply copy it and I'll be pasting it to all my screens so that in whichever screen I am, I can quickly reflect back to my welcome screen. And once this is done, our first screen is done, our navigation to home screen is done. Now we want to view in MR. So I have put my 3D model in my repository. So I go there. And I select the link from here. And as I mentioned that we should be extra careful to remove the blog. So I've removed it. And the github.com, it must be changed to raw.githubusercontent.com. Once this is done, we will select the second link because this is what our Power Apps can understand. And then we, from the insert menu, we scroll down and then we select the view in 3D preview button and here we need to add our model. So once we have selected the view in um, uh, 3D part, we, if you want, we can uh, name it here something or it's uh, better to not uh, put the link here, though I have put it here, but uh, the model won't show here. So what we need to do is we need to, as you can see that it shows an error, so it's better to not be here. And now next, what we need to do is we need to move to advanced. Um, yeah, so we need to move to advanced and there we'll have an option named SRC. This is where we need to put our link. So that was a bit of mistake from my part and we need to add our model to SRC from advanced settings. And we see that our model is loaded. Now that it is done, I add another button. And this button, I want it to make me visualize my chair in my living room, room or in my preferred room. So I name it as view, uh, view shape in MR or view in MR. And then I want this uh, button to navigate me to my second screen, which is the view shape in MR. So again, I'll be writing the same. Uh, I'll be writing the same uh, function that is to navigate in MR. And yet again, due to some glitches, the button wasn't uh, was somehow uh, invisible. So I had to do it again. And then again, on on select, I had to write the navigate to view shape in MR uh, function. And once this is done. What this button will do is it will navigate me to my third screen that is view shape in MR. And from this is where I can actually view my view the chair or any desired item in reality. Now that it is done, so I from insert I'll go to mixed reality and from there I'll choose the view shape in uh, MR option. And here it's a uh, place a cube. But I want to place my chair in. Uh, I want to place my chair in the reality. So here again, what I'll be doing is uh, the 
I'll be changing the source to my uh, to that is I'll be so changing the source to the chair or to the 3D model that I want to do. Once this is done, so here we are. We need to search for the option, and it is basically not a view place a queue, but it is view in MR. And here again will be the source as you can see is highlighted here. So what all we need to do is we need to paste the link here. And once this is done, though we cannot uh, demo it here in in a desktop version, but uh, we can view it from our phone. So this is how with a simple button and just by adding the link, we can view the object in our real world. And the third part is to measure in MR. So to measure in MR, we'll just uh, bring in the button as uh, measure in MR. And now we want to view all our measurements. So for that, I'll select a data table. And now I want this particular data table to have the units. So I will write in another function that is measure in MR dot it gives a measurements detail and when I give dot so uh, this is where I can put in all the measurements that I want now that I have it here so all that I need to do is I need to go to edit fills and I need to go to add fills and I need to add all the measurements that I need to take for example the demo that I showed there was no height but yet I placed it here so this is it how we can simply create an um, uh, you know power apps with all the features with no simple lines of code and with only one function and i hope that you really enjoyed this demo and you can come up with more creative ideas and i am volunteering everyone who is present here to solve all the business problems to uh, come up with your own ideas and to build anything that is that you want and to actually visualize all your ideas into reality with mixed reality so for that i i learned all of these from the microsoft learning path so i would suggest all of you to go through it once so that if you want to change the data source if you want to add more functionalities in it you can go ahead and do all of it so i highly ask all of you or request all of you and volunteer all of you to go to uh, aka.ms backslash sdc backslash mixed reality. Thank you for having me here. Thanks, hey Mantika. That was great. Uh, how many of you love that? And what I really liked about this demo is that I learned how to build apps for HoloLens. I worked on the HoloLens SDK for several years. Um, and here's what it took my C -sharp background, I had to learn Unity. Then I had to learn to make 3D models. And once I learned all these three things, I made a very terrible block that like, or a ball that rolled down a block and fell on the floor. And it took me three years and a lot of work and a lot of yelling mm. to be able to make this. And hey, Mantika learned about Power Platform in April and now she's dropping mixed reality apps like no one's business. I basically learned in three years how to draw a 3D shaded triangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>